Many people living in Wester Hills think life here is a lot like fire eating. Difficult and painful. Which window shall we look through today? Is it the square window or is it the square window? Yes, it's the square window. Lift, lift the, the lock, lock, ready to knock, it's, it's play school. Here is a lift, won't go up, won't come down. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Lift the lock, ready to knock, it's play school. Here is a damp, through the ceiling, on the floor. That's Wester Hills. Lift the lock, ready to knock, it's play school. Broken homes, unpaid bills, broken lifts, dampness. Lift the lock, ready to knock, it's hell up here. For those of you who don't know, Wester Hills is a large housing estate on the outskirts of Edinburgh. It was badly planned and built some 12 years ago and would have fallen into decay if it hadn't been for some local people getting together and building some huts. The huts are brilliant. If they weren't there, nothing would happen to improve the place. The huts are a nice sort. What we need is some proper places to go to. Fifteen huts have been built up to now by local people, most without much public money to help them. They're used for all kinds of self-help community activity. These foundations are for another new hut in Wester Hills. One of the people whose group is going to benefit is Mary Quinn. Her story is typical of many. What the planners gave us was they gave us houses and they gave us car parks and roads and nothing else. And then the huts started going up. There is no escape from the fact that the huts have made an enormous contribution. There hasn't been a penny of public money spent in the, in the development of any of them, apart from the very small amount of urban aid and offer. Oh, I was a very frightened person when I first came into the community. Um, I have I had recently stopped drinking and uh, this had left me with agoraphobia to a very large extent. I was in danger of becoming incarcerated in the house and not being able to get out at all. I had to rely on my family to help me get out of the house, to help me get down the road, things like that. And eventually I managed to struggle down to the community workshop and I found a great deal of help and support down there. Um, people came to understand that I was agoraphobic and they would help out, you know, they would meet me in the shopping centre and say hello, walk along beside me in the shopping centre and things like that. I got an awful lot of support. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, some doctors are more um, thoughtful in this way than others. Some have more understanding of what agoraphobia is all about and agoraphobia really is what you're talking about. When I got a hold of an issue that really motivated me and was affecting myself and members of my family and the people around about me, then I decided that uh, I wanted to get more involved. In isolation, you can do very little. You have to get out there and meet other people, link up with other people who have the same kind of problem and get together to try and overcome them mutually and then gradually increase it day by day, but it's a long, slow kind of process. The confidence that I have comes from the other people in the community. It comes from the fact that they believe in me the same way as they believe in each other. I think community centres are a waste of time. Who needs them? This place is so awful. I don't want to make friends here. Without the centres, people in Wester Hills would have nowhere to go. Ah, oh, hello, Madge. Do you know what they're going to do to Wester Hills? They're going to improve it. Oh, they're going to improve it? <laughs> How are they going to do that? They're going to bring in a US cruise missile. Oh, a cruise missile? Oh, when's 
about arriving? I think that's about now. Oh, so it is! Oh, oh. Here, I don't think I like this very much, Madge. I think you're right, Eddie. I think I liked it the way it was before. <sighs> Can you give me an update to see if we're prepared to move that hut yet or not? At the moment, the hut is now ready for to be transported. It's been taken off its original stand and stuck to the left of the site, next to the road, ready to be uplifted. There's only one slight problem I might see, is access from Calder Place to Calder Gardens. Yeah. It's quite a tight turn there. The rest of it, as far as I'm concerned, is quite straightforward run up the road. Mm -hmm. You know the corner there beside the church? Mm -hmm. Meetings? Who needs them? They're just a power trip with lots of people talking rubbish to pass the time. Nothing comes out of it. I think meetings do a lot of good. They get people out of their houses and into discussions that affect their own lives. One of the groups that believes in regular meetings is the Parent Support Group. Liz Whitecross was one of its founders. Well, it got started with two women who felt like lonely and isolated and just decided to do something about it. I mean, just felt there must be other people in Wester Hills in the same predicament as Ava. Just decided to start up this group. It's a self-help group where women get together and help each other. And also, you know, if they've got kids, kids get help at the same time. Stuck up three flights and it was, you know, it was pretty depressing. I mean, I was at the stage, I was saying, you know, if I don't get out of here, I'll jump out the window and take my two kids with me. You know, it was that bad. And it was just through two women from the parents group coming up to, you know, to see me had heard about me. You know, and I was feeling really depressed, I'd heard about me. And when they came up, I was still feeling depressed. But once I'd talked to the woman, I found I wasn't the only one. I think I was feeling, feeling a bit sorry for myself, and I wasn't the only one that was, you know, actually isolating on my own. I, I realised there were other women. So it was a big step for me, but I did it, and I, I've never looked back, personally. What, what about you, Maureen? You've only been with it, what, four months? Um, four and a half months. Well, I didn't exactly know what I was looking for. I've been separated ten months. And I just spent the whole winter in the house, only going out once a week for the messages because a newborn baby at Christmas time, what? so there was no way of getting out. And pointing me in the direction of the parent support group, so I just walked in while I still <laughs> had this sort of gumption. I said, I'm not going to pull off, I'm going in now. I just need to be around people. I was just at the point of cracking up completely. I was getting hostile towards my children. I was. I just didn't want them around me. Parent support group for me was a springboard into different committees and what's going on in the community. I mean, I didn't realise there was a community, let alone a community spirit. And although it's sometimes difficult to get the babysitters I'm on different committees for meetings and that, and enjoy all that, and that's, that's, that's my relaxation. It's not just out with somebody to the pub and, right, I've had a good time away. I get a real buzz out of just being around at the meetings and something I'm interested in and it moving forward for there, getting things done. I wouldn't I wouldn't leave Wester Hills now if I got sort of a house bought and paid for anywhere. And I never felt like that before. Well we have a crash and while well, mothers can relax and have a cup of coffee while the kids have been looked after. We feel that, you know, the women need a break, you know, and, and the kids need a break for their mums and the mums need a break for the kids. 
So this is a good opportunity for the mums to relax and the kids to relax. The community bases have their own mother and toddlers groups where the, some of the mothers help with actually looking after the kids. Uh, some of them stay different days to help looking after the kids and, you know, they take it in turn. I know the, a lot of the huts do that in Wester Hills. One of the main problems I'm sure you've all encountered is the dole, uh, the DHSS, I'm sure. A lot of the mothers have certain kinds of problems and we use these problems using the psychodrama and sometimes using these problems helps them to, you know, get rid of their horrible feelings that's inside them. Can I help you? Bloody hope so. I've been waiting on a gyro for three days. What's your name? I phoned yesterday. I was told I would get it out. Where the hell is it? Name? Hardy. Ah, yes. I'm afraid your file's been mislaid. It's been mislaid Until for three days? we find it, we can't send a gyro out. That's the rules. What do you mean you can't send a gyro out? That's, that's the rules. We just cannot send the gyro out. What? What do you mean? You mean after day without money? What's my bed supposed to eat? Fresh air? Well, I'm afraid... Well, you better I just do nothing. You better get up and do something about it. There's nothing I can do. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to feed the Excuse me, madam, but is this your child? Yes, unfortunately. Well, could you please keep it in order? You behave. What's your name? Hardy. Hardy. Oh, yes, I'm afraid we did misplace your file, Miss Hardy, but I promise it will be through here by Friday so we can send your check out. It should be there next Monday or Tuesday, OK? That's not good enough. I'm what, sorry. What do you feed them on? I've got now in my cupboard at home. What do I give them? Behave. Couldn't you get a loan of a friend or your parents to give you some money? No, and I couldn't. Check They're instead? on social security. Well, I'm sorry, madam. Her. There's nothing else I can do about what this. What do you mean there's nothing else you can do? Toilet. I've got three kids in the house. How am I supposed to feed them? I'm sorry, madam, but you I will have to toilet. move. OK? No, toilet. that's just not good enough. I'm sorry. There is nothing toilet. we can do. It's out of our hands toilet. now. Well, I'll just have to phone the police. I'm very sorry. You want to phone the police? OK, I'll get some to phone them. But here she is. You feed her. Nothing. Madam, we, we cannot take your child. Madam, you cannot leave your child here. Come back. Within the community workshop is the small office of one of the original local organisations, FISH, for information and social help. Sylvia McLeod helped start it. Hello. Hello. Right, have a seat. Uh, I came in last week here about a tax problem and you said you would up your school. FISH was started because of the lack of any kind of facilities in Wester Hills. We can give them the advice on basic rights, supplementary benefits, social security, various rights to single parents. We do a lot of debt counselling. We can do child sitting, granny sitting sometimes, take the dog to the vet, you name it. It's all just part and parcel of it. And we have a furniture recycling type of scheme where we collect furniture, give it out to